I was opening up this uh, this post's endpoint to get on to our next lesson. I realized I accidentally knocked down my MySQL database. And unfortunately, I have no factories or cedars set up. So today, the lesson is actually going to be factories and cedars. How do we populate our database with dummy data? So the first thing we're actually going to do is we're going to completely drop our posts table. Completely drop it. Don't need it. Actually, we're going to recreate it. So this is also going to be a very, very good and quick review of pretty much everything we've learned so far. So after we dropped our posts table, we're actually going to delete our post model and with the intention of recreating all of these, we're going to delete our post controller and we are going to delete our posts migration. Now, why did we delete all these? PHP artisan make model and then dash dash help. We actually get an all flag and it says it's going to generate a migration cedar factory and resource controller for the model. So it's also going to create a model. Now we know what a controller and a model and a migration are. But we haven't heard of Cedar or Factory yet. So let's recreate our post and we'll use the all command. So we'll not only get our post model, but we'll get a post controller, post migration, post factory, and post Cedar. All right, starting off, let's go to our post and we're gonna go to our posts migration. And we're just gonna say, okay, table has a string, which is going to be a title. And then the table also has a text column for the content. Next, within our post, everything looks good, just like what we had it. Then let's go over to our post controller. Then our post controller is already importing app backslash post. So let's return post. And then we're just gonna get Return post, get all posts. Next, we're going to close these, make them a little bit smaller, and we're looking for the show method. Remember, the show resourceful action. We actually want to remove this type hint because we're not using route model binding, something we will cover later. We want to say post where ID is post, and then we want to get all. Of course we will need to return that all right looking good so far looking good so far so now if we just move this down a bit just like that we close this up we have our index action and our show action index and show so we're almost where we were at already but to get where we were at, we actually need to run PHP Artisan Migrate to migrate our posts table. Okay. So now, if we go back here, we're back to an empty array where we start at the beginning of our tutorial. So that's a review of everything we've done so far. That quickly. Um, but we're going to take it a step further and we're going to create the ability to add dummy data and so when we did that php artisan make model dash all command it created a database factory and specifically it created a post factory our post factory accepts this faker instance and so what you can do is you can say okay our post because if we go to our create posts table has a title and that title, we're just going to set it to a faker sentence. Next, our post also has content. We're going to set the content to a faker paragraph. Sweet. So what does that do? Well, if we want to go to Tinker, PHP Artisan Tinker again, an interactive shell for directly um, just interacting, I guess, with our Laravel application. 
we can actually run factory and then we can reference the path to our model. So app backslash post and say, hey, we want to create 25 posts. And so we just say 25 and then create. And now we have created 25 posts that are using factory dummy data or factory faker data to be specific. Just like that. So factories allow us to create dummy data. They factory up faker data to let us just interact with without needing to manually add it. So that still leaves one question though. If we clear that out, what about the cedar? Because that was the last thing that the PHP artisan make model all created, created seeds. Well, the cedar, it actually just uses factories most of the time. So we're gonna say factory, and just like we did in PHP Artisan Tinker, and then we're just gonna say app backslash post, and we're gonna say 25 create. We're gonna say posts equals that, and boom, that's all the post is gonna do. Instead of us having to go and to tinker to run our factories, we just define our factories here. And then within our database seeder, we uncomment this call, and then we reference the post seeder class. If we wanna add like a seeder and a factory for a user, then we could continue down here and do user seeder class. Now, instead of having to do PHP artisan tinker each time, we can do PHP artisan db seed, and la la. Now instead of having 25 resources from when we ran the factory for our posts within Tinker, we now have 50 because we ran our seeder. And we could keep running that if we wanted to or we could just leave it there. And so finally, what we can do, just to prove a point, is we do app post from Tinker and then we can truncate that database. What's that do? If we get our posts now, we have no results. So we just emptied our database. We used Eloquent to empty our database. Now, whenever our database is emptied, instead of having to manually say, okay, we need to add our own post and do all this, now all we need to do is just PHP Artisan DB seed, and then voila, we're good to go. We have our dummy data. And of course, if we wanted to go like 22 or 21, you know, and hit any of the IDs of our created posts, then that will work as well. So guys, that was a quick overview of both what we have done and how to use factories and seeders to quickly create dummy data as you're working on your application. In between models, controllers, migrations, factories, and seeders, those are the very much so the founding, just the foundation for any Laravel application. If you have a good foundational understanding of how to implement all of those to the point of what we just did, it makes development so much more enjoyable, so much quicker, and just overall a uh, overall more higher quality and more value, um, both to you as the developer and what you can offer to either your company or the company you own, or to the client, um, as far as what you can offer as a value standpoint. So guys, again, that is Laravel models, Laravel controllers, resourceful controllers at that, Laravel migrations for database structuring of tables, Laravel factories for creating faker data to populate those tables, and then seeders that actually run the factories to populate the database with dummy or faker data. In the upcoming lessons of our Laravel 7 from the ground up series, we are going to take our first deep dive chapter into the realm of view and Laravel's blade template engine. Thanks for watching. Simple.